Right, good morning guys. So it is Monday today. I am going to have my eyebrows wax and tinted today. But I thought I'd show you my little matcha trick that Ash mentioned in kind of a couple of videos ago. So I'm a matcha girly. I always get my matchas from Starbucks. But I thought I would show you my at-home matcha just in case anyone wanted to save a little bit of moolah. So what I use is, now I don't know if this is like good matcha, I just got, I'll get this from Tesco and apparently it was on Dragon's Den or something, I swear it's, just, I swear it's just somewhere on the packaging. Oh, I've seen on Dragon's Den, up on the top, and I actually have like a proper Starbucks cup, this was from like a confetti collection that they did like a few years ago. Now, I know a lot of people are going to hate hearing this if you're like, like full on true matcha girly and guy. I don't have the bamboo thing. Um, I use a protein shaker. So yeah, very professional and all that. But what I use is, I get how many, I can't remember how many things it says that you have to do. Combine half to one to, okay. Kind of like, I do like three quarters, not so much like a half, not so much like a full one. The only problem with this packaging is, I don't know if you can see, it's like, you know, it's that finely milled that when you um, open the packet, it like goes off into the atmosphere. What I do is I actually use coffee syrup, I use vanilla, and I just use a little bit of this. This not only adds a little bit of sweetness, but it also makes it like a vanilla matcha that you would get from Starbucks anyway. I never know. I never know how much to use and whenever I have it, it's always too sweet. Next, I just do milk and I do quite a lot of milk. I just put mine straight in like this. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. I'm going to use the whole thing. Um, I think you are supposed to like put a little bit in and then shake it. It works for me. And then what you want to do is make sure the lid's on because there's been several occasions where I've shook it and it's gone absolutely everywhere. Uh, but just give it a shake. And then what I do is I put a little bit of ice, which I don't know if we've got. Put a little bit of ice in the actual thingy, just so it stays cold. <sighs> Ow! Almost broke a nail. Gosh. You won't catch me in Starbucks with this. Oh, my cup's broke. One last shake. It's quite frothy. I think the more milk you put in, obviously, the frothier it goes. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, quite frothy. Oh, my God, this is going to go everywhere. Oh, might have done a bit too much. But, oh, voila. That is your at-home matcha. It's so nice. It's so refreshing. Like, once the foam's gone, that's how much liquid you actually get out of the drink. You can tell Ash has been in this car because I am like 500 metres away from the steering wheel. So going, heading to get my, please excuse the lighting, obviously it's beaming in, which is actually nice. We shouldn't be complaining about it. Oh my God, what's going on with my hair? Um, but yeah, basically I'm going to go and get, did I say my nails? I meant eyebrows. I don't know what I said. I'm going to go and get my eyebrows done now. Back with Jade, obviously. Always go to Jade. Weather is really nice. I always go, the weather. Let me know if you know where that's from. The weather, sunny in it. But yeah, I got my matcha. It's time to go. I've also bought an ice cold, freezing cold bottle of water as well. So I'm ready. She's ready to go. She's ready to get these eyebrows done. I've done that and it doesn't feel right. This. It, anyone else have that like you'll do your hair and it'll be right the first time and then you do it again and it never it will never ever be right again it's like when you do a messy bun just like it will just never be right now i'm gonna have to take it out anyway when i'm leaning down on the bed I'll take you around with me this week i haven't got actually anything planned so ash is at work this week so 
he finishes at one on a frog on a friday but i'm going out on friday so let me talk you through the week so it's monday today i've got my eyebrows tomorrow i'm doing like a spring clean of the house and when i say like spring clean i mean like a thorough clean i'm gonna like gut the house and then i feel like i'm really close to the steering wheel is that better i do a thorough like gutting of the house and wednesday not got anything planned thursday i've got my hair so i'm gonna go into work and have my hair done which i'll film Friday, um, me and my friend Lucy, we're going to go and see Sam Tompkins because he's doing these like intimate pub tours and he's doing one in O'Neill's in Birmingham, which never been to O'Neill's, but it is on Broad Street. So if you know Birmingham, you'll know kind of where it is. So we're going to go and see him and then we might end up going out after we haven't yet decided. We might try and have a bit of a sober night because we are both out together the next day on the Saturday going back into Birmingham. And we always do the Holy Trinity, which is Cocktail Club, Tonight Josephine, and then Be At One. That's like the ones that we always go to. So if we try and have a sober night on Friday, we can go a little bit harder on the Saturday. So I might take you with that. I probably won't film too much because I'll be on a night out. But I'll film a little bit so you can see like a girly night out. And then that's it really. Sunday, we'll spend the day with Ash. Probably have to do the food shopping. Oh God, that's remind me I forgot the bag. I was supposed to go shopping straight after having my eyebrows done, but I'm going to have to go home to get the bags to leave. Why on earth have I done that? I forgot the bags. So, yeah, that's the plan for today's. Have my eyebrows done and then go shopping. Sunday, we'll just spend the day just chilling, doing the food shopping. And then Monday and Tuesday, I've got my nails and my toenails on Monday, which I'll take you with. And then Tuesday, again, just another day chilling. Probably clean the house, but that's pretty much all I've got planned. I can't believe I've forgot the bags i just literally put them by the door to remember them specifically <sighs> God. oh well i'll have to go back home to go back out which is such a pain <sighs> typical i'm just driving there now one thing that i did want to say is grab a snack because i have a feeling like this video might be quite a long one i'm just preempting it i don't know but the fact that i'm filming for a whole week and our videos are usually like 30 minutes long for two days sometimes even one day depending on how full packed they are so it might be about a 45 minute plus video if it's not grab a snack grab a drink anyway but the weather is actually beautiful the sun is beaming i'm in a happy mood so life is good love that just yeah i'm just listening currently right now having a nostalgia kick and listening to silence by is it khalid and um marshmallow or khalid absolutely love saturday nights by him that's like one of my favorite songs it's like nostalgia through and through i've been thinking basically i need your guys's help so for anyone who hasn't been watching for a while oh my god horses for anyone who hasn't been watching for a while if you've watched our first q a like our first ever video we mentioned it then i don't think i've ever mentioned it again since on youtube one because i never want to be like it sounds awful because your mental health is key i am a big advocate health is wealth you always should put your health first if you're not happy doing something don't do it kind of thing like a job is a job make your life your own is like my affirmations always are trying to stay positive be happy be healthy so basically i want to lose a little bit of weight okay trigger warning also i just want to say this because i am going to be talking about mental health and eating disorders so trigger warning i want to lose a little bit of weight however for you guys if you didn't know i used to suffer from an eating disorder and i was bulimic and wasn't in a good place mentally was really underweight yeah wasn't in a good place and i've suffered with mental health for like 10 years basically i'm 24 and i probably first started to notice that i had mental health problems even before that like when i went into high school when i was about 11 and 12 i noticed something wasn't right i have depression i have anxiety and i developed an eating disorder during high school i used to chuck my lunches because i didn't want to eat it i'd make myself sick if i did eat it but i always used to punish myself if i ate more than i should it was i had very clear signs from an early age that i felt fat and i thought i should be a certain way i was in a very heavily like slim friendship group 
we were the popular group i don't know i just yeah not to go too deep into it but i knew from an early age something wasn't right and it wasn't until i was about 15 16 late teens early adulthood that i realized okay making yourself sick starving yourself and not eating isn't normal i did get the help that i needed so that's why i am in remission that's why i would probably say i'm good i can eat now however the point of what i'm trying to make is i want to lose weight but i want to do it in a healthy way i don't want to be the whole dieting culture and the gym culture is very triggering for me i'm not good at the gym i enjoy running but i only enjoy running when the weather is like how it is now and it's very like life what's the word it's dedicating the time to be able to do that me and Ashley already eat well. We do HelloFresh. We do proper cooked meals. We snack a lot, but I've always been a snacker. And to break that habit is really difficult because a snack for me is the difference between, especially in my line of work sometimes, eating and not eating. So I need people's advice. What is the best way of getting all your nutrients? Because I am vitamin D. I'm anemic. I have a lot of deficiencies because of an eating disorder that I'm still trying to work on now. I'm basically, a lot of things are... I need to get all my supplements. I still need to make sure I'm eating a decent amount because I'm busy at work and I'm quite full on in my job. But I also need to make sure I'm being healthy to my body and my mind. Do you get what I mean? So yeah, basically, if anyone knows anyone that can help in that respect, it's quite a full on ask, I guess. But it's something that I've noticed this year because of comfort eating and being comfortable in my body a bit more and also moving out so we're in charge of the food that comes in and out of that house. I am a sweet tooth, I do enjoy my puddings but I have noticed I've put on weight. Ash said it's a healthy amount of weight but you know when you start to feel like you're not feeling good in your body and then it's like a catch 22 with my mental health. As soon as I start not feeling good in my body the habits start creeping in. I don't want that to happen. I want to lose weight. I don't want to not... F I'm starting to not feel good in my body again and that's not a healthy thing. So yeah, if anyone has got any advice down below, if you know any like podcasts, any... Like any, I don't know, anything that is just going to help that isn't... Like I'm not a gym goer. I can't do weights. I don't enjoy it. Like I said, I enjoy the athletic side of working out. So like running and that. But that's very weather dependent and also if I've got time in my schedule. So... I need a way of like maybe doing more home workouts or something that I feel more comfortable and also more dietary habits that I still feel like I'm getting everything that I need without either restricting myself or feeling like I'm overeating and then the bad habits come in as well. So yeah, any advice would be really, really appreciated. I've only got a little bit of my matcha left. Oh, it's so good. Chewing gum. Still having my watermelon from Primark. They're actually... I'm addicted. They're sugar free. Mm. Love. Just got my eyebrow tint on. I love having my brows done. It's my favourite thing. The angles. <laughs> So I've just dropped Jade off, absolutely love my brows, she does a fabulous job every single time anyway, but yeah, details are on screen now. Like I said, I forgot the bags, so I've got to go home, pick up the bags and go straight out. I don't know if I'm going the right way, we'll find out, I didn't realise this led to down here. I've got to go to Aldi and Tesco because there's things that I need to get from both, so I'll take you with you, with, with you, with me. So I've just headed actually to Boots. I think Boots is on here, as far as I can remember, it was on here, which is like a retail park, kind of in the area that we live. Yeah, I'm gonna, I need to pop to Boots. I still need to go to obviously Aldi and Tesco, but I thought I'm heading through this way. I might as well go to Boots here first. Is Boots here? It's not saying, oh yeah, Boots is on there. So I just wanna have a look at either some fake tan or a lipstick, I think. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a little mooch round and just see that's all. There's not really much, to be fair, what, I, what I'm looking for, I could get from Tesco, I think. But I thought while I'm here, I might as well have a look just in case. It'd probably be dearer in boots, but we'll wait and see. So considering I wasn't actually meant to be spending any money, I got Molly May filter and her mitt. 
and i think that came for 30 pound for them too i think that's 21 and that's 10 so yeah like 31 pound i got extra dark now i don't know if that's going to be too dark for me we'll wait and see but i also found this lipstick dirty talk from elf never owned anything from elf cosmetics before but i did think that i don't know i swatched it on my hand and it looked a nice color i needed one that was like a brownie pinky nude kind of color if that makes sense so it's like a brown but it's like a nice pink too i'm hoping it's going to be like not too pink because i've got um I've got a Morphe lip liner that Jade got me for Christmas called, I think it's called Backseat Love or Backstreet Love or something like that. And it's like quite a brownie, pinky nude kind of colour. So I wanted something that was kind of like going to match with that or like look good with that. So that's my little boots haul, 40 quid later. But yeah, I'm going to head home, going to get the shopping bags, then going to have to go to Tesco, then going to go to Aldi. And then by the time that I'm done, it will probably be... Oh, I don't even know what time it is. It'll probably be like four o'clock then. Wait, no. What time is it now? Like three, half two, half two to half three. Oh, no, it'll only be about half three. And then I might be able to just pop to my sister's for a bit and see. Oh, God, I feel dishevelled. You know when it's one of them days where you just don't feel like you stop at all? I mean, I have. I've sat down and I've drove and stuff, but I've not, like, stopped. Oh, so just been to Tesco and Aldi and then I've got to go home and put the shopping away. And then I'll see for timings whether uh, it's worth me going to my sister's or not or whether I'll just go tomorrow. Hello guys, so it's currently Tuesday today. It is two o'clock and I'm heading to my sister. I have filmed a speed clean with me this morning and that will be on the channel before this video so go and give it a watch if that's what you've wondered what I've done this morning. I literally woke up, I woke up about, I think it was about half eight, pretty much got up, got dressed and then did the speed clean straight away so if you're wondering why it sounds really noisy it's because I've got the window open. It is actually boiling hot today, it's 19 degrees, 19 degrees, it's March guys, March, 19 degrees. It's summer. It's basically summer, guys. Get get your swim shorts on. Get the ice lollies out. It is summer. It's finally here. Thank the Lord. And it's nice that it's like this when I'm actually off. So, yeah, haven't got anything planned today. Like I said, this morning, I cleaned the whole house, did a thorough clean and filmed that. And that's up on the channel. So go and give that a watch. But other from that, I'm literally, like I said, it's two o'clock and I'm literally just heading to my sister's. And that's pretty much all I'll do this afternoon that's that's all that i've got planned is i'll see harriet come home and cook dinner we've got hello fresh tonight so it's a dinner that takes a little bit longer let's say so cook dinner and then pretty much chill all evening haven't really got anything else planned for tomorrow either um tomorrow i will probably just have a bit of a chill day just some kids that walked out in the middle of the road love that but tomorrow i literally haven't got anything planned either like nothing i haven't even got to clean the house or anything or the washing everything is done so i'm gonna have a nice lie in tomorrow i'm gonna catch up on my youtube catch up on some netflix and stuff just have a nice chill and then other from that that'll probably be my wednesday not not much else i might pop out go somewhere like the range or something but obviously i've got my hair thursday friday and saturday i've got plans sunday it will be like a normal day with ash doing the food shopping and chilling and then monday i've got my nails and toenails again and then tuesday again will just be a chilling day so considering i've got a week off i've probably actually only got like two solid days of doing nothing I'm just leaving Harriet now and Reeks, but Reek wasn't there, he was at work. Me and my sister have the same days off. We always have a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off. And then obviously I have a Saturday off some weeks. But yeah, I'm just leaving hers now. It's saying it's gonna take me, I think like 20 minutes to get home, even though she literally lives like two minutes away from me. It's because I'm leaving at 11 minutes past four and where we live has got absolute crap ton of roadworks right now she got me uh, so she didn't get me she gave me a little wax mount which was really cute which is called um it's i don't know scentful wax is the brand hand poured highly scented it's like 
uh, it actually matches my nails. Um, it's cotton fresh is the scent, which is like a scent that I would go for. And it's like a pistachio, like matcha, kind of like sage green with like little bits of glitter on. It's very, very pretty. I'm gonna drive home. By the time that I get home, it says I'm gonna get home for about 4.26, which is a lie because it will take longer than that. And then pretty much I'm gonna sit down for like <laughs> half an hour and then before i know it i've got to do dinner so that's that's pretty much it i will film doing dinner because we've got hello fresh but i don't know which meal i'm going to do today this might sound really stupid but there's literally nothing better than coming home to like a really clean house everything's where it's supposed to be ignore that i've just put that there you know oh, it's the best feeling so yeah i've just gotten home i have had a little bit of reaction to my eyebrows i don't know if it's the wax or the tint that's not usually happened it didn't happen last time but i don't know if you can tell basically like around my eyebrows it's gone a little bit like i don't know how to describe it like you can tell something's wrong but nothing nothing to do with what jade's done my skin just has like the weirdest of freak outs over anything so, i mean hopefully it goes down by the weekend hopefully this is the worst of it and it's yeah gonna get better because i am out on the weekend and i'm putting makeup on two days in a row and that's really bad for my skin anyway let alone when something's actually caused trauma to the skin we'll wait and see but i don't know what to do for our hello fresh meals you're not going to stay, are you? Our meals. I should really go out and get a meat substitute instead of that. So Ash can have it. Because as I said, he doesn't like pork or he doesn't really eat pork. We're not going to do that one because I haven't got anything to put in it for him. I should go out tomorrow and maybe get some chicken breast or something. I think I might do the veggie moussaka because this is longer. This only takes 25 to 30 minutes. And I think I want to do the longer one today. So it's over and done with. Yeah, so I think that's what we're going to do today. So I'm just watching a little bit of Baysarian and I'm going to start cooking dinner. I'll probably time lapse this because I don't know if any of you are that bothered about like seeing me cook. If you are, let us know. But I'll probably show little bits, but it's probably easier for me to time lapse it just in case. Ashley's just come home. Dinner's in the oven. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. Veggie moussaka. Nice. Moussaka. <laughs> so it's wednesday today mm. i'm gonna make some breakfast i'm having some coconut yogurt and i'm good i have mine with cereal which we'll keep up here yeah i have mine with the cereal you are obviously supposed to have it with granola i personally just prefer it with cereal um i just think it's nicer my hair desperately needs washing but i'm not going to bother doing it because obviously i'm having my hair done tomorrow but the plan for today was i wasn't supposed to really be leaving the house today i know that sounds like really hermity and like a bit boring but i was just gonna have a, oh, i was just gonna have a movie day 
and not really do anything but because we didn't pick our meals in the hello fresh and they've sent us a pork option which ash doesn't eat pork i've got to pop to aldi and get like a meat substitute for something like chicken for him and while i'm there there's some other things that i need to get like i need to get some more of this cereal i need to get some bleach i think uh garlic granules that's on our list so i thought i might as well go and just have a look to see if they've restocked the shelves and go and get that but i won't be doing that till later and then yeah, I'm just going to sit in, watch movies, and then cook dinner, really, that's it. But I just thought I'd update you, obviously, just to say, like, I'm not really doing much today. I'll take you with me when I go to the shops, but Wednesday is a pretty boring day, I won't lie. just head into Aldi the weather today is not giving yesterday it was so hot the weather was lovely oh it was beautiful yesterday today it's raining it's dull it's dreary 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 that's the word it's got gray skies yeah it's just raining it's gross it's horrible yeah I'm heading to Aldi going to get the chicken I'm gonna go and get some some chicken chicken and a can of coke no, not, not a can of coke. I don't, oh, fun fact for you, I don't actually really like fuzzy, fizzy pop. Fuzzy pop? Fizzy pop. I only drink fizzy pop. This sounds really bad if it's got alcohol in. So if I'm having like a cocktail, if I was to have like gin and lemonade, disarrange and coke, like, do you know what I mean? Vodka Red Bull. I'd have a monster and I'd have a Red Bull, but you would never see me just going and having like a cold glass of lemonade or like Sprite, Fanta, Coke anything like that i'd probably have like if we went to the pub and i wanted a non-alcoholic drink i'd have like a j2o i don't really drink fizzy pop water tea or coffee gel or matcha yeah but yeah god don't i just i have noticed that i don't have chat some fuck <laughs> in the politest way possible honestly i can't just talk about a subject and make it less than two seconds long it's like a novel a five five piece novel <sighs> currently oh that's something to talk about which is basically there's a series on netflix right now which has been out for about about a month i'd probably say even longer than a month maybe it might have came out at the start of the year we're currently like a end of march now and it's called one day and everyone was hyping about it saying how brilliant it is and that you should watch it and that it's so emotional and stuff i won't spoil it because i'm only one episode in so i can't spoil it and i put it on my story um which my instagram's here i put it on my story saying finally watching it seeing what all the hype's about and the amount of people that have messaged me being like a why are you only just watching it now like how have you gone this whole time without watching it like everyone and their dog are talking about it it's something that you can't escape. Everyone at work is talking about it. If you've got children, I bet they've watched it. Like, everyone has watched it and is speaking about it. Secondly, I've forgotten my second point. Oh, yeah. Secondly, um, <laughs> secondly, they're all saying, yes, it's worth the hype. Like, stick with it. It's a bit of a slow burner. But they say towards the end, it all makes sense. It's really emotional and sad. I kind of basically know what happens because obviously like I said I've waited so long to watch it and everyone's been hyping about it for as long as it is and being in the industry that I am everyone's talking about like what they're doing what they're watching and stuff so I know what happens I'm just waiting for what I know is going to happen to happen kind of thing so yeah I'm currently watching that so far it's okay I'm only one episode in I like that it's set in Edinburgh, I love Edinburgh myself, I like that it's set back then, like in the 80s and stuff, I like how it's filmed and stuff, I like the actors that they've used, I think they really portray the characters really well, the only thing that I dislike is that I find it quite unrealistic, like this sounds awful, like if someone like Dexter was to stop over he would have left he would have gone about his day he would have been like oh, i've got to leave in the morning see ya do you know what i mean i know it's romantic i know it's romanticized it's fiction and everything i don't i think it's fiction i don't think it's based on a true story if it is i need to research that but like, i don't know if it's just the 80s and things were different then but like i generally would not know any lad that would do that to still stay if that makes sense 
but yeah that's my opinion i'm just feeling it's a little bit unrealistic so far but i'm enjoying it it's okay i'm giving it about a seven out of ten so far there's room for improvement and everyone like i said everyone has said towards the end like it's a slow burner and it gets better and better and better and better so by the end of it i'll update you i might be crying on the sofa later even though i know what's going to happen i'll update you it might be a 10 out of 10 but yeah i'm just pulling into audi now gotta get the chicken i just had a massive palava on the audi car park so let me show you so you pull in here this is where i pulled in and you can see these yellow bollards there i was turning obviously from the left side turning left so i would have been going round the yellow bollard onto the left side this row here that's in front of me which separates two rows of car park like spaces a white a big white i think it was a volkswagen or something a woman was in it and she was over the middle reservation so she was pulling out in the middle of the road basically so i waited i was indicated and she was hollering me in i was like i can't go i'll hit your car you're in the middle of the road she was getting aggy with me hollering me in i was like i'm either going to scratch my own car on the yellow bollard which i'm not doing or i'm going to hit yours which i'm not doing so i kept saying i can't reverse there was a car right up my ass i couldn't reverse back i had indicated and i was saying you need to go she was getting aggy at me i was like all right then i'll just pull forward and either damage my car or damage your car the car behind me wasn't reversing there was a queue of cars behind us you know people i just think why like i couldn't i couldn't make it round the bend without either taking the front end of her car off or going so tight and scratching my car i'm on audi car park i'm stressed already and all i've come out for is some bloody chicken I've been looking at my hair today. Not only does it need washing, but I am so excited to get my hair done. Like, so excited. It's dry. It's dull. The, I feel like the colour's just really yellow and horrible. Like, it needs a deep conditioning. Oh, what's that scene from Wildshard? Some buttery highlights. A deep, serious deep conditioning. If you know, you know. Okay. I need these extensions taken out, a Ooh. seriously deep conditioning, I'm taking side bangs mm. with some buttery highlights, and maybe a few honey tones. I'm going to have about, I think, about a good inch cut off, so it's going to be about here, I think, and that's going to take everything that it needs off them ends, because them ends are in a tragic state. And then, obviously, I'm having a full head of highlights, so all the dark roots everywhere will be gone. It'll be nice and blonde, nice and creamy, nice and refreshed, nice and toned, and then, obviously, getting them them dirty ends off so it's nice and refreshed for me going out on the weekend Woo! you know what i can't believe i actually come on youtube looking like this like people see me looking like this god but anyway got the goods got some garlic granules got some bleach and then got some chicken so my little audi haul i'm gonna go home and i'm gonna carry on watching some one day and just see what the hype's about and then before i know it i'm gonna have to start dinner i don't even know what time it is now i bet it's like half one and then yeah i'm gonna have a, probably only get a few episodes i don't know how long the episodes are like 40 45 minutes long it's 16 minutes past one but try and watch as much as the one day as i can as possible and then i'm gonna have to start dinner that's it really I'm going to do the bigger dinner tonight. So we have two more HelloFresh meals. Friday, I'm not going to be eating at home because I'll be out. And Saturday, I'll be out as well. So Ash has got like food for both them nights to himself. Because I'm having my hair done tomorrow and I'm not going to wash it before I go out on Friday and Saturday, I don't want to cook a bigger deal that's going to... A, a bigger deal? A bigger meal that's going to make my hair smell. First of all, problems, I know. But I'm going to do the bigger meal tonight and then tomorrow night in our HelloFresh is like a pasta dish, I think so i'm gonna do that and then i might end up wearing like a bonnet when i do it because i don't want my hair stinking i really don't want to have to rewash my hair because i'm probably not gonna have time not gonna lie like i will saturday morning i will that's a lie but like i've got a fake tan thursday even though i'm going to be fully covered in my clothes on friday because i'm not going to have chance to fake tan friday night when i come in to wash it off on saturday to go out on saturday but if i fake tan on thursday will it still look good for friday and saturday Again, first world problems, the life of a 24 year old. Just got back from shopping and I've made myself a smoothie, which has got coconut milk, two bananas, like a handful of blueberries, some mango, pineapple and papaya. It looks a very awful colour. It looks disgusting. Tastes just like a banana smoothie, not gonna lie. Probably could have, I love banana in a smoothie. It thickens it up and makes it really creamy, but it does take away from all the other flavours. Right, so I'm just at the end of episode five. I don't know. I, I'm enjoying it. I'm watching it and I'm enjoying it. But 
I don't know, it's not giving me that like pull that I want that it, a series normally or like a program normally does give. I don't know what it is, I just don't feel like it's really long winded for what it is. I mean, the episodes are dead short, but I, I feel like they're, there's more that goes on off camera that they haven't filmed that they explained. Like, obviously, we found out his mum was poorly and all this that wasn't documented and then has now been started being documented. So, obviously, because it's, I think the concept is that one day which is i think the 15th of july every year they update each other's lives and stuff and you hear about everything that's gone on in their lives that year and stuff but tonight i just feel like i'm five episodes in a lot has happened but nothing has happened if that makes sense like i just don't i don't know i don't know i don't know how i feel about it okay it's episode seven now and this is like the first episode where i feel like something's actually sort of happened and I put her Instagram story up, basically just saying something like, I think it's like a six out of seven, don't get the hype at all, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, the messages that I was having. I was having I've had about seven to 10 messages saying, stick with it, it's worth the watch, you know, blah, blah, blah. And oh my God, so I've got to stick with it. I've got to watch the series. I'm not a quitter. I am going to watch it all, but I just, I'm really hoping and praying that it does get better like everyone else says. And I think because I know what's going to happen, I think it's going to make it a bit shitter anyway, because I already know what's going to happen. I think I'm just more disappointed that I basically dedicated the day to this and it's not turned out what I would like it to be. Well, I'm on episode eight now. How many episodes is there? Hang on, let me double check. There's 14 episodes and I'm on episode eight. So to be fair, I'm pretty much at the end of it, basically. Give or take. I'll get this finished by the end of the night. So I'll be able to update you later. Or I'll update you tomorrow, depending on how dark it is by then. Just carrying on watching that one day. Just starting dinner. Thank you. Oh no, I'm dropping things. So guys, I am actually in bed, so I finished one day. I don't know, it just wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. I've been speaking to my sister-in-law all, all day about it and she really loves it and she's like recommended it to everyone. And I just said like, it just wasn't for me and like different people like different things. And like a perfect example is For Me Once by Michelle Keegan. Not by Michelle Keegan, but Michelle Keegan's in it. Um, Loved it. Thought it was dead gripping, like recommended it to everyone. And I had so many people go, oh, I didn't really get it. I didn't, you know, I didn't rate it. And I was like, what? Now I understand what people mean because like this has been their like ride or die, this program. They've absolutely loved it, hyped about it, told everyone about it. And I'm just like, mm. I put this story up on my, um, I'll put it here, my Instagram and like updated everyone. And everyone was like, what? How did you not like it? But no it's not that i didn't not like it i just felt the very exciting important aspects of the program got like brushed over really quickly like she died in the last like two minutes of the episode spoiler alert she dies and it was just a little bit like brushed over and then the last episode is obviously mourning her death which is sad it is sad because this could happen to someone but i just thought like all the exciting and important aspects of the program were just brushed over and then there'd be like long episodes about I don't know, like, there was one about him being on TV and her doing a play, and that was, like, a good chunk of the programme, and it was, like, just boring, prolonged, boring, and personally, I won't recommend it to anyone, but, mm, no, give it a watch, form your own opinions, but, yeah, it was just not for me. Good morning, guys! It is hair day, and I am so excited. Honestly, my hair is vile it needed washing at least about three days ago i'm not gonna lie you i'm not the only one if you know you're getting your hair done you just push it out so i do feel very sorry for jasmine jasmine is who i work with who's doing my hair but i'm so excited to get it done it's in literally like i don't think it's ever been this bad like i mean it probably has but the roots are like really long it's been about i think about 15 16 weeks since i had it done last i've had it cut in between but even then like like i said my hair needs just a desperate cut but yeah it's hair day i'm so excited i have actually left for to get there a lot earlier than what i normally would when i get to work i don't know why I, I it must be you know when you wake up and you're excited about something i just got up whereas usually i'm so tired that i can't get up and i'm just like oh like but I don't know, maybe because I've been well rested so far this week, so when it, one early morning doesn't really like matter. But yeah, like I woke up this morning, I set my alarms like I normally would for work, 
And other from like maybe the first one because it was a bit of a shock to the system. The second one, I was just like on my phone, just like. And I got out of bed earlier before, before you know. So it's actually currently four minutes past eight, and I won't usually be leaving the house until sometimes like twenty past eight. So I am actually really ahead of schedule. I'll probably get to work stupidly early and be sat on the car park, but. I did think about going and getting a Starbucks, but I don't know, I've got to be sensible with money and I can have a coffee at work, like. I've just arrived and the tiredness is here. I am in desperate need of a coffee. <laughs> also, oh, my voice. <laughs> also, update on the brows since I last updated you. They're fine now, they're, it's all gone down. I don't know what it was. It might've just been like a bit of a reaction to the wax and like the trauma to the skin. Totally fine, they went down within a couple of hours, but I forgot to update you. And I absolutely love them, as I always do. on the wonk hair reveal guys it's nice and blonde nice and refreshed roots are gone so i went for i actually went a little bit warmer with the toner which i'm glad i did it's more like a creamier like softer blonde and i think on the weekend i think i'm gonna like pull the parting over slightly and like have it a bit like like this i think i'm not sure we'll wait and see or I might just have it in the centre part in, but absolutely love it. Went a bit, obviously, like I said, went a bit shorter with the length, which I like. Um, it's just sitting nice on that shoulder and stuff. I just feel like it just had a new, like, what's the word, like leash of life. And it's just nice and refreshed. It's healthy. The ends are all chopped off and gone and the roots are gone. Oh my God, I love the roots. The roots are gone. Yeah, so, so happy. Nice and refreshed, nice and blonde again, and no more line. So yeah, I need to stop touching it because it, or else it will get greasy, and this hair needs to last. I probably will have to end up restyling it because once I've stepped on it, the curls will go a bit flat and stuff. But I want it just a really soft, loose wave anyway for when I go out. I don't want it too curled, so it might be okay. But currently, twelve fifty nine. I got here earlier, but my appointment was nine o'clock, so. Yeah, good amount of time really. I'm gonna head home now. Pretty much chill until I have to start dinner later and that's it. The weather's a bit crap. I'm hoping it's not like this on the weekend when I'm out. But I love it. Thank you, Jasmino. Good morning, guys. So ignore how ferociously orange I am. I fake tan last night and I have still got a shower it off so it won't look like this hopefully afterwards. I used the Molly May filter which I've never used but I used it in extra dark because I wasn't sure this is the first time using it. It may actually all come off because fake tan tends to do that on my skin like it doesn't matter how dark I go I'll shower and it all it will all come off. The application of it was beautiful. There's no streaks, there's nothing. It smells lovely considering it's fake tan but i just thought i'd check in all i'm doing today is i've watched a movie on netflix called damsel which has got millie bobby brown in and then i've just sat on the sofa just waiting to get ready to go out and that's pretty much it but i thought i'd check in and just say like i look like i've been up the chimneys <laughs> So I've just got him ready. I've done my hair. This is how I'll, I've styled it. It will drop a little bit more. I'll probably have to actually restyle it for tomorrow. I'm wearing a white bodysuit from Primark. I've done my makeup. Just done it quite soft. I've not wore false eyelashes tonight because it's a bit more of a chilled night. I thought I'd focus more on like the skin. I will wear false eyelashes tomorrow. Ignore my bruise. <laughs> I will wear false eyelashes tomorrow because it's quite like dressy tomorrow. But my lip choice is the... Um, O Face Satin Lips Lipstick in Dirty Talk by ALF and then I've got the NYX Butter Gloss in Madeline, which is actually a girl's name that I really, really like. That combo and then my outfit is, I've got this blazer, I've got my jeans on, my straight leg jeans, which these are Stradivarius, I think. I'm wearing grey, so I'm not flashing me, me boobies. This is the outfit, I've got my straight leg jeans on these are from Stradivarius this blazer is from Topshop but it's a few years old in fact I think my sister gave me this and I absolutely love the colour it's so like springy 
and then I'm wearing bear with let me go and show you I'm really liking my makeup today but I guarantee I'll go to do this tomorrow and I'll look awful like it just won't turn out like this like my hair or anything won't turn out right but I'm wearing these shoes which Ash got me which are like limited edition platform ones um, which are like a really pastel grey so I'm feeling really like spring and summery I'm really yeah I really like my outfit I feel really girly springy quite casual but still dressy comfortable in my flats as well to come home and he's giving me this we are trying to be good and like lose weight but could he have got a better bigger bar for me i don't think so the bag that i'm using as well they are different whites but i thought i'm talking to my phone this is my outfit my outfit that i'm wearing for tomorrow as well which i'm wearing with this bag and these shoes which are different golds but you won't tell that's from Miles the Label as well. And that thing where I've got him ready like stupidly early, I think it's only like gone three o'clock and I didn't actually say that I was going to get Lucy until about five. So I've got like an hour and a half to kill. I'm hoping she'll say come and get me earlier, but you know. Ready early. This bit of hair is bugging me. It's like not connected to the rest, but it's like falling a bit bad as well. But I'll probably just end up tucking that anyway. So I'm just heading to get Lucy. She lives about half an hour away from me. Well, it says 4.29 arrival and it's four o'clock now. So to be precise, 29 minutes. So I'm just going to go and pick her up. Yeah, so I'm just driving to pick her up now. She's going to come back to ours and then I think Ash is going to take us to the train station. We're going to get the train into Birmingham. We haven't actually decided how we're getting home because she lives obviously half an hour away from me. It depends on what time we're getting back and what's happening because I said to Ash not to worry about getting us tonight. We'll get the train home because we know it's not going to be a late one. Tomorrow's going to be a late one. So I said, well, do you mind taking us to the train station and picking me up from Birmingham tomorrow? Like what the plan is basically. So... <laughs> little bit unsure about that right now so excited for not, for tonight i'm so excited for a little girly weekend with my girl yeah and might i add which i'm kind of annoyed about the weather today is absolutely stunning like it is boiling hot it is currently 14 degrees which doesn't sound hot but when the sun's beaming out it is hot it is very very hot and then tomorrow it says it's the highest it's going to be is 11 degrees which i know is only like three three degrees difference but it says it's gonna be cloudy and windy tomorrow and that makes all the difference if it was 11 degrees and sunny like how it is now wouldn't have any qualms about it at all but because it's meant to be quite cloudy and windy you'll feel the cold a lot more and i'm wearing a blazer today so i'm probably going to get hot today and i'm wearing a dress tomorrow where i'll probably be colder so i'm like, gonna listen to some music have a little jam i haven't brought a bottle of water with me i really should because i'm quite parched There's missing you just feel unhealthy now. I could be chilling with a girl with spice and a pretty quiet my bed. I hate myself for doing it in private. I'm so scared. I just can't have you anywhere near me. Beautiful guys.
miss you all. Oh, it's my worst nightmare, and I'll let you know that if I ever lose you, I So we're on the train, having some junky poos. Talk me through your outfit. So, it's a little black dress number. PLT. A little tie. Yeah, very cute. Yeah, lovely. And then this is Mars the label. Where is your bag and shoes from? So bag is from Boohoo. It's just a simple little bag bag. Love that. Shoes, um, I think these are Primark. The so mules, cute. really comfortable actually. And then my bag is Sheen and so are my shoes. And they're like gold. Golden goddess vibes. Love that. <laughs> Good morning guys, so today is Monday, it's the final instalment of my weekly vlog so thank you for watching and thank you for getting this far if you have because I, I was editing the video this morning and it is a long one this is the longest video we've done yet on this channel so let us know sort of how you felt if you like the long ones whether you prefer more like 20 to 30 minute videos obviously it's a long one because i've been filming for a week if you'd rather if i ever do this again if you'd rather just do it in like two intervals or if you'd only like this like every so often or something let us know but anyway thank you for watching if you have for getting this far I really appreciate your support and everything we didn't film yesterday so yesterday was sunday we obviously i went out saturday night which you would have seen just we got i got in i don't know what time i got in maybe like i don't know it was late and then obviously sunday woke up we had a nice lie in i think we actually woke up for about nine so nothing like too early too late but we didn't get out of bed until about half eleven so we had a cup of tea in bed we had a mcdonald's in bed Oh no, was that was Saturday, I think. Was that Saturday? I can't remember. We chilled in the morning, didn't really do much, and then we got dressed, went and did the food shop, and then my parents come round. It was just nice for me and Ash to just have some quality time together, actually spend the day together, and um, just chill, not really have to worry about doing much. So like I said, we did the food shop, my parents came around for an hour and then in the evening we just chilled and it was nice so yeah we just decided not to film because th there wasn't anything exciting happening and we just thought we've you know we filmed most sundays where we're just going and doing a food shop and if you guys enjoy that let us know but there's only so many times i think you can film that and you feel like you're seeing the same thing even though we do talk about different things in the car and a lot of you guys on the videos comment saying that you actually love our car chats because you just like how like real and funny that we can be together it's 11 26 i did some washing this morning but from that i've just chilled and i'm on the way to get my nails done today i'm getting my toenails done as well so it's a bit of a longer appointment today and then after that i'm going to go to my sister's for the afternoon because she's obviously as you would have known moved out and they've just finished buying all the bits for the house the sofa the dining room table everything's arrived so i want to go and see it all like finished now like a completed house pretty much anywhere my nails have lasted really well this time i say that i always lose that one and i actually lost that one in be at one in birmingham because i can't even remember what i did it like peeled a little bit and then i ended up just ripping it off and but yeah they've lasted a lot better this time the, the growth on them hasn't been as much and i've noticed that because i've not been at work so the water on them hasn't made them grow and that it hasn't made them weak so 
and I also when I'm at work I pick and like I don't know but they've definitely lasted a lot better me being off work this week than what they do normally do I haven't got a clue what I'm going for for design not at all I know I'm gonna go for like a baby pink on my toes I think I usually either have white or French tip but I think I want a baby pink no idea for my nails no idea the tan does have to come off obviously it's not yet at tiger bread stage but because my skin is so dry like i've lathered my face in moisturizer my eyelids are so dry and sore like my eczema's flared up loads because of my fake tanning and my hands and everything is the same so i need to keep lathering my skin in moisturizer because of how dry they are but to be fair i might just try and scrub it off tomorrow if i can i'm back at work on wednesday so tomorrow's tuesday and i haven't got anything planned at all to be honest i probably won't film tomorrow that's why i think today's the last day of the video plus because it's a long video already but yeah i just don't know what to do on my nails i'm thinking maybe a baby blue but we'll just see we'll find out when i get there anyway and i'm not actually having a starbucks today guys i'm gonna save my pennies i'll get paid on friday and when i tell you that i'm skin i am skinned <laughs> the weekend skinted me out i don't think i've updated you since sam tompkins actually oh my god sam tompkins was probably one of the best nights of my life i do i loved going with lucy but it was quite a romantic night i wish that ash was into him because we could have gone together and it, i just think it would have been a lovely date night it was so good he was amazing his voice is just amazing he's so talented and we actually britney de villiers and morgan gibbs white was there because birmingham is technically i think they're like local city i think they live like Nottingham way now maybe actually I don't know um but they actually used to live in my hometown because he's from where we live now but he used to live where I used to live like with my parents but yeah they were there and yeah it was just such a good night I highly recommend going and seeing him obviously we did the intimate pub tour it was one pound a ticket but I would go and pay more to go see him 100% he was so good and I just I actually liked that it was an intimate thing like it was just nice so yeah it's 11 30 now I'm gonna head to my nails and then I'll catch up with you after so I've just arrived for my nails and the tiredness has hit me I could just go to sleep I need a nap so bad I was driving and I was like, oh. But I still haven't decided what I want to do on my nails. I feel like I might go French manicure on my toes instead of a baby pink because we've got a christening. Not this weekend, the following weekend. So not that that matters, but <laughs> I just, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm going to just leave it up to my nail lady and just say, you do what, what you want, but we've got a christening. So keep it like, I don't know what the word is, like nothing too wacky. So I've just had my nails done. It's currently 2.41. So took a little bit longer than what we thought it was gonna. I think I've just took the wrong way. Yeah, I've definitely took the wrong way. Oh my God, for God's sake. But took a little bit longer than what I thought it would, but that's not a problem. I went for a baby blue. Now I wanted, I think I wanted a baby blue anyway, but it actually is quite fitting because of the christening. We're going to a, a little baby boy's christening. So I just had French tip on, like French manicure on my toes, just to keep it classic. A lovely, like baby, baby blue. It's actually quite like a nice tropical kind of blue. It is baby blue, but it's like a blue blue, which is nice. So really pleased with them as I always am. Just heading to Harriet's now. Took the wrong, wrong way, but I'm hoping it's still is gonna like, saying i'm gonna arrive at 256 and it's 242 now so not too long really that's pretty much all i've got planned for today is i'm gonna go to harriet's and then by the time her partner's home i'll be heading home and then going and having making dinner for me and ash and that'll be pretty much my evening i hope you have really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching thank you for obviously sticking with us if you're still watching right now we really appreciate it just all i can say is thank you i really appreciate all your love and support and i hope you have enjoyed let me know what your favorite part of the video was please remember to like comment and subscribe and take care